Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be solving another interesting coding challenge that talks about distributing candies to children. Let's take a look at the problem statement. So the problem statement says, what are the minimum number of candies required to distribute among children such that every child gets at least one candy. The children having higher rating gets more candies than their neighbors. So these two conditions should be satisfied and we want to know the minimum number of candies that will be required. Let's understand that with the help of an example. So here we have four children and the ratings of those children are 4, 1, 3, 2. And the way the candies are distributed is first child gets two candies second child gets one then two and then again one now let's check if the above condition is satisfied with this distribution so for the first child the rank is four and the number of candies it has is two uh, does it have a higher rating than its neighbor the answer is yes does it have more candies than its neighbor yes it has two candies while the neighbor has just one candy for one one has one candy like the second child has one candy so that's good for the third child the rank is three if we look at its neighbors the rank is one two so its rank is higher than its left neighbor as well as its right neighbor so it should have more candies than both of them so it has two candies which is more than one to its left and one to its right so the condition is again satisfied and we can see each child has one candy so both the conditions are satisfied now the answer will be the sum of the candies which is coming out to be 6 here. Now we have to come up with a solution in which we will get the ratings and the number of children and we need to know the total number of candies which will satisfy these two conditions. Each child gets one candy, the children having higher rating gets more candies than its neighbors. Let's look at the algorithm that we will be using to solve this. Now to solve this problem via code, we will be using a greedy algorithm. In greedy algorithms, you build up the solution piece by piece and you always choose the next piece that offers you immediate benefit. That's why these are called greedy algorithms. And uh, to solve the candy distribution problem, we'll just follow three greedy steps. Step one says you give one candy to each child such that out of the two condition, one gets satisfied for all children that they get one at least one candy. So we give one candy to each child. That completes step one, easy. Step two says you go from left to right and if the next child has higher rating, you give them one extra candy than the current child. So after step one, all of them had one candies. Now we'll go from left to right. We'll compare the rating if the next child has higher rating or not. So we compare four and one, next child does not have higher rating, so we skip. We compare one and three next child does have higher rating so we'll give the next child one extra candy okay again we'll go to the next child compare the ratings the next child does not have higher rating so we'll just skip and the distribution that we get after step two is one one two one now comes step three where we go from right to left so we went from left to right initially and now we'll go from right right to left and we'll again check if the next child has higher rating and less candies than the current child, we'll give them one extra candy than the current child. So let's take the output of step two. Now here, we're going from right to left. We're comparing the ratings. So we compare two and three. Yes, the next child has higher rating than the current child. But do they have less candies than the current child? No. So we'll just skip this case. We compare 3 and 1. Do the next child has higher rating? No. So we'll just skip again. Then we compare 1 and 4. Do the next child has higher rating? Yes. Do they have less or equal candies than current child? So let's just add that here. Because if the neighbor has a higher rating, then they should get extra candies. So here, the rating of 4 is greater than 1 and they have just one candy so we'll give them the current child plus one candy 
okay that completes step 3 we have covered all the children from right to left and this is the distribution that we get 2 1 2 1 the initial ask of the problem was to know the total number of candies not the distribution so we can just sum that and we get 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 which is 6 and that solves the problem so these are the three simple steps let's write the code for these steps we have this problem available as a lead code challenge as well so let's try to solve it here itself so that we can validate our solution also i've put place holders here for the three steps that we discussed in the algorithm the input that we have here is a number array which holds the ratings of all the children and the length of this array is the total number of children that that are there so let's create a candies array which will be a blank array to start with step 1 says we have to distribute one candy to each child so i'll just write a simple for loop for all the children and just give them one candy so we are pushing one to the candies array for each child now step 2 says you have to go from left to right so i'll just use the same loop and in here the check was if the next child had a higher rating you gave them one extra candy than the current child so if ratings of the next child which is i plus 1 is greater than the ratings of current child then candies of the next child becomes 1 plus the candies of current child that completes step 2 let's go with step 3 now we have to go from right to left so we'll just reverse the for loop so we'll start i with the ratings dot length to i greater than 0 then i plus plus in here the check was if the next child had a higher rating and equal or less number of candies so since we're going from right to left the next child would be i minus 1 based on array index so if ratings of next child is greater than ratings of current child and candies of next child are either less or equal to the candies of current child then we give them one extra candy so candies of the next child equals candies of current child plus 1 okay let's just log the distribution for a quick validation oh this will run into a infinite loop since we're going from right to left uh, here it will be i minus minus we are starting from the end of the array going to the beginning let's run it again okay now if we check this case where we ran our algorithm the distribution is 1 1 2 1 then 2 1 2 1 which looks right now the last part is to get the sum of array so let's say total candies equal 0 again we'll iterate on all the candies and we'll just add it to the sum finally return total candies okay for the sake of optimization let's get rid of this console log and let's try to run it if all the test cases pass we'll also submit it okay all test cases pass for 4131 the output that we got is 6 it will require minimum 6 number of candies let's submit it okay the solution got accepted so with just three simple steps of the greedy algorithm we were able to solve a hard lead code problem so if we talk about the time complexity we are just using a single for loop and that for loop goes till the length of the ratings array so it's linear time complexity and it depends on the length of the input so it's big o of n talking about space the candies array that we have used will also be of the same size as that of ratings array so it uses linear space and the space complexity will also be on i hope you enjoyed solving the candy distribution problem if you are stuck with any problem that you need help with you can let me know and maybe i'll create a video for that if you need any help with this particular solution please write it down in the comments below and i'll make sure i reply to your comments 
If you like the video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more learning content. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.